Graded Card Investor. What's going on guys? It's Matt with GradedCardInvestor.com back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to cover the top eight listings on the PWCC marketplace that I think are an absolute steal right now. I'm going to be releasing this video one day early for my YouTube members. So if you guys want to have access to these videos one day earlier than everybody else, consider signing up to be a member on my channel. But without any further ado, let's jump into this list. Number eight. Coming in at number eight is a 1948 leaf mickey walker graded psa4 listed on pwcc for 22 dollars the 1948 leaf set is available in boxing baseball and football card it's very popular in baseball there's babe ruth card ted williams so many good hall of famers and the 48 leaf set the point here is 22 dollars for a psa4 mickey walker is a steal right if you go on ebay you probably find this card for no less than uh you know 10 to 15 dollars but nowhere near in PSA 4 condition. Would I consider this a flip or a hold? I would say buy and hold on this one. We're not really looking to flip cards. Uh, I, I wanna get out of that flipping mentality and more of the investing mentality for my audience. Because if you look at the history of vintage cards, they've done nothing but go up, right? And I think 22 bucks is a steal. So this is number eight on the list. It's a 1948 Leaf Mickey Walker. PSA 4. If it's still listed here tomorrow, I'm going to buy it. So uh, now's your chance to pick it up. Number seven. Coming in at number seven is a 1948 Leaf. Lou Ambers, graded PSA 4, listed on PWCC Marketplace for $22. Again, guys, these 48 Leaf set, I think it's a steal. Ungraded cards are selling on eBay for around $15. And if you look at this card, it's in really good condition like the color is vibrant it's the focus is a little off but that's common on this card i looked on ebay and a lot of them are like that overall this does look like a psa4 card a very good to excellent condition nice centering on these very hard to find 1948 leaf cards centered and when it comes to vintage cards it's all about the eye appeal all about the centering and this card has it so for 22 dollars, i think this is an easy no-brainer pick up buy it and i'll show you the card i bought it's the uh, 1948 leaf tommy lochran graded psa6 i paid 36 dollars for this check it out and you can see what's cool about the pwcc marketplace is once you buy a card you have all this information or and options you can share it on your social media you can edit your own value and what you think the value is you can pick it up in person ownership transfer transfer the card to another pwcc vault account check out you can mail it to your home or you can ship it to another third party like comc possibly create a folder for your collections and you can even request an edit if you want to you know add something particular about the card and these high resolution photos are just the best i've seen in any marketplace and another big feature about the pwcc marketplace if the listing says 36 dollars that's what you pay if as long as you choose to keep it in the vault you pay 36 dollars, no taxes no shipping fees and after 90 days i think you can remove it from the vault and save on taxes and any kind of fees you do have to pay shipping though but you can easily relist it for free on the, the marketplace very cool feature if you haven't checked out pwcc's marketplace man today's the day to do it i've been obsessed with trying to find deals on here and uh, there are a lot you got to look for them but there are a lot number six Next up on the list is a 1988 Burger King Emmett Smith Florida Gators rookie card graded PSA 9 listed on PWCC for $349. And you can tell this is an authentic card because the Burger King stamp is on the front and on the back. So this is an authentic version. These are rare. Don't go on eBay and try to find these cards because more than likely they're going to be reprints or fakes. And this is one of Emmett Smith's higher selling rookie cards because of the rarity of the card and if you look a psa 10 just sold on pwcc buy it now in february of 2024 for 1790 dollars a gem at 10 was sold for 540 back in 2021 so they're up big time i think the emmett smith collectors are uh, the emmett smith market is increasing due to his you know unbeatable stats as a running back and this burger king promo card being one of his rares check out the pop report on this so far there are 241 submitted to psa 70 graded 10 with 92 graded mint 9 so very low supply on those cards at 349 dollars i think this is a good buy you guys let me know in the comments below what would you value this card at 350 or should it be around 500 this card is so rare it's hard to really gauge so let me know in the comments below what you guys think this card is valued at 350 bucks or around 500 dollars price tag considering a psa 10 just sold for 1750 number five next up on the list a 2003 sp legendary cuts 
historic swatches purple parallel ted williams patch serial numbered out of 75 graded bgs 8.5 Check this card out, guys. This is Ted Williams swatch. And if you look at the back, it says you have received a Ted Williams game used jersey trading card. On the front of this card is an authentic piece of jersey worn by Ted Williams in an official Red Sox Major League Baseball game. So there's clarity on this card. The earlier swatch cards, they typically are actual game worn jerseys. So I feel like for 60 bucks, and this is a good deal. That's an actual jersey worn by Ted Williams. He's one of the greatest hitters of all time. I think these cards are gonna get more collectability to them because they have actual authentic memorabilia in them, which you can't really get anymore. If you do, you gotta pay a lot of money. And this is a parallel out of 75 for $60. I think that's a good deal. You guys let me know in the comments. Is that a good deal for a BGS 8.5? Very tough to grade. These earlier, uh, any game patch uh, card and the 8.5, even for modern day cards, that's a good grade. So considering this is one of the earliest sets from 2003, BGS population one of three with none graded higher, $60. We'll see how long this lasts. Number four, 1981 Topps Basketball Wax Pack graded PSA seven for 84 bucks. 1981 Topps Basketball. You can get Larry Bird second year cards in here. You can get Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. There's a Magic Johnson card in here too that you can get. When, if pulled and is in a mint, gem mint condition, can sell for tens of thousands of dollars. So $84, this is PSA 7. It looks like it's in good condition. And I think these are, PSA won't grade them if they feel like they're, they've are they been open. So if you look at the back, you can see, it looks like it's still, it's been, it's sealed. But it's hard, it's really hard to tell uh, from the photo and from being in the case. So if you wanted to buy this, crack it, Open the pack, that's, you know, $84 gamble. These sell on eBay for around $60, I think, ungraded. But if you buy these graded, I think your chances of them being unopened are better. So, so graded wax pack product, uh, I think it's a, a good, you know, decent investment option. How many more uh, packs out there are left to be opened? You can even make an offer on this, maybe $70 offer, I feel like would be a good good offer. PWCC has a lot of this stuff on their in the marketplace, the unopened product. So if you guys haven't checked it out, they have a lot on there. Number three, 1997 Topps Chrome Chris Weber Refractor number 185 graded PSA 9 listed at $35. Currently PSA population one of 11 with two graded higher. If you look at this card, you can see that there is greening on, on the, the player, which, you know, decreases the value a little bit. But these refractors this is the second year Topps Chrome. They're rare. And Chris Weber, he's a Hall of Fame player. He does have a market. So I think for 35 bucks, this is a good deal. It's a PSA 9. Look at the centering on the card. It's almost perfect centering on the front and back. Number two. Next up on the list is a 1998 Crown Royal Limited die cut Peyton Manning rookie card. Serial numbered out of 99. Graded BGS 8.5. BGS population one of seven with five graded higher, listed at $125. If you look at the front of this card, you can see Peyton Manning rookie logo. On the back of it, you can see it's a digital 47 out of 99 serial number. Peyton Manning rookie card, listed at 125. One of the best quarterbacks of all time. And there, he's alive today, he's active today. There's a younger audience who knows who he is. So I think he's gonna have a, a, a fan base, collector base for many years to come. And with only 99 of these out there and it's a die cut, 125, I think that's a good deal. But you guys let me know in the comments. Is that overpriced, underpriced, or should I have already bought it before making this video? Number one. Coming in at number one is 1999 Metal Universe Planet Metal Jerry Rice die cut insert graded bgs 8.5 listed on pwcc's marketplace for 30 dollars buy it now or make an offer now the planet metal die cut cards very popular in basketball cards as if you collectors out there know there is a set in football and it's even in baseball this planet metal they're they weren't terribly hard to pull i think maybe one per box but it is a 90s insert and it's of jerry rice and it's already graded so $30, go ahead and buy it, add it to your collection, maybe list it for 65, 75, if you wanna flip it. But I think this is combining, uh, you know, everything on my channel, the 90s inserts, the Hall of Fame players, and the low hanging fruit at $30. There's no denying it, that, that, that dirt, dirt cheap, guys, dirt cheap. You can go on eBay and buy this card for maybe 10, 15 bucks, but, you got to go through the grading process and uh, the weight. I would rather just buy the card graded for 30 bucks. The grading fee is already in the price. So PWCC, 
marketplace some low-hanging fruit out there guys tons of deals guys check out pwcc marketplace look at that trey young pulser out of 13 for 120 what is that 2019 yeah i feel like that's a great price oh five graded higher but still out of 13 that's 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 rare well thanks for watching guys stay posted for more videos i got a lot more coming i'll see you on the next one